Hi and welcome to this markup RXP video, which is part three of describing the new features that have been added to version 0.5. So we left uh, markup RXP in part two uh, at this stage where we had updated our um, stem uh, cells here and we had said into the configs section that we wanted to ignore mark cells and therefore the mark cells don't get displayed which is great but we want to introduce another little feature um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear down um, all markup on this page for this feature and you can see that we've got all of these cells selected but on some charts uh, we'll just zoom in here on some charts the well, markup RXP might identify certain cells uh, that shouldn't be picked up or alternatively might miss cells that need to be picked up. And this is because we use pattern matching to identify the symbols. So one of the things that was requested um, on our Trello board was to tweak the symbol selections to allow uh, users to manually add or remove cells to a current selection. So here we have our W symbols and there's 39 of them on the chart. Now with the symbol selected, what you can then do is simply click on a cell like this. Uh, if you go to symbol mode, that is. So you've got to be in symbol mode with the symbol selected. And if you just click on the cell, you can see that the symbol gets enabled and it adds another little dot and the count gets increased to 40. So it was Marco Bar XP originally found 39 of these. We've manually added a new one to the list. If we've made a mistake, we can click the undo button and that will just remove that symbol. And that works pretty much like the markup undo, but for symbol mode. So here we can, just to demonstrate that again, we can select multiple cells. And as we add those cells, the count gets updated and that count is reflected here. So you can see the total number of W cells that we have now think markup RXP has. So that's for picking up, say, cells. Maybe the W um, had a line of backstitch through it and it didn't pick up these particular cells. But it also works if uh, symbols have been identified that shouldn't have been. And therefore, you can just click on those cells and that will reduce those cells to say, actually, these two Ws aren't correct. They shouldn't be included in this symbol selection. And that is how we can tweak symbol selections. And just as a quick update, Sometimes you'll be in pan and zoom mode and be able to pan and zoom around the chart and you'll switch back to symbol mode. And for whatever reason, I've done it myself multiple times, is you forget and you go to, to go into pan and zoom. And when you do, I've just tried to pan and zoom it. It puts a cell. Uh, it'll mark up the cell because it thinks you're trying to tweak the cell selection. And if that happens, just click on the undo button and that will remove the cell and you're done. Once you've got the cells all identified and tweaked the way that you would like, just jump into markup mode and they'll be committed and saved. Great. Now, what I've also shown in the previous videos is you can change the color of the markup. So you can hit on the color here to change, which is good. You can also come into here to change the color, uh, which is just the regular way of changing colors if you wanted to. You could come onto the symbol list and you can change the color there. Uh, and I've also shown that when you have um, the symbol selected there, so if we select uh, the W symbol and we've got him highlighted, if you go to the key here, you can come onto here. And then if you choose a particular color here, you can go in and enter the thread number. So there's just some ways that uh, you can change uh, the default color of that but what I'm also going to show is just a very quick update so um, we've got that row selected there I'm just going to delete him here and this is using the delete button so if we just click that button there and say would you like to delete this uh, symbol we say yes and that has deleted the symbol from the list and it'll delete it across the entire project as well so what that now means is when you come into here, it'll be a brand new symbol. There's no color assigned. And what we can do is if we just hit the markup button, it'll assign the default color that you had selected to that particular symbol. And obviously that symbol is then back in the list. And when you look at that symbol, 
you can see you've only scanned the one of the three chart pages because you've deleted, you've originally just gone and deleted that symbol from your entire project. Um, one of the other options that you have is maybe you want to make this particular symbol uh, number one in the list. He's currently number three. So if you press and hold on that symbol, you can see he just changes to a little style like that. And you can drop and reorder that list and say, yeah, I want DMC702 at the top because that's the current symbol that I'm working on. So you've got the option to manually reconfigure uh, the order of the symbols should you want to. And we also have this little help button that we've added. And in here is a list of a lot of the features that we've talked about. So where you have to select uh, the rows in order to pick a symbol or um, how you can change the colors of a symbol, um, refreshing a symbol or deleting a symbol by selecting the row first. And then you can delete multiple symbols that way should you want to. You can update symbols with the little triangle. Um, or you can do the refresh by selecting all of the symbols in the list if you wish or a subset of the symbols and refreshing those symbols. Uh, we'll get on to park symbols in the next video. You can clear the selection. Uh, that's what this button here is just to, to clear the selection down. I'll show you that after this particular after you could finish going through um, the headers, uh, the, the symbol help here. And on here, the headers uh, allow us to reorder the symbol list. And I've just demonstrated the drag and drop. Um, we can get more information on the symbols and that finishes that off there. So um, the clear symbol is if you have selected all of the symbols like that, or maybe you've got a subsection of, of rows selected, you can just cancel that selection by clicking that cancel button. Uh, and I think that concludes part three of uh, the markup rxp version 5 updates uh, we're going to come into our final video part 4 next uh, where we're going to show some more advanced features um, for using markup rxp thanks very much for watching